All right. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Brandon Allen uh, on his first NFL start with a win. Uh, and Coach Allen and his family, I know they're, they're extremely excited. We're, we're very proud of him and excited for him. I appreciate our fans uh, and the environment that they create. And they created Saturday. Uh, they're relentless and they're passionate. And their love for the Hogs is, is seen and felt. Uh, and I'm com completely unacceptable and disappointing the performance from last Saturday. Um, I, as well as our entire staff, take full responsibility for it. Uh, there was nothing through the course of the week that ever indicated a performance of that magnitude or lack thereof. Uh, but we did have a few young bright spots that I was uh, pleased to see after watching film. It was really good to see John Stephen Jones and K.J. Jefferson get in and provide a spark for our offense, um, leading touchdown drives, uh, both of them. Um, they had a, uh, we also had an opportunity for a lot of our, our young players to continue to gain valuable experience. Um, we'll start John Stephen Jones this week. Um, excited for him. We will play K.J. as well uh, to continue to develop him. Uh, they will add to the list of fr the freshmen and sophomores that we've started this year. Um, and I believe about half of our starters this season have been freshmen or sophomores, so they'll add to that list. Uh, it was impressive as I turned the film on to watch Scooter Harris play and just his, his relentlessness and um, his ability to continue to sell out every play. Uh, it was very inspiring. And uh, when you have your best players selling out like that, it, uh, it allows me to use them as examples in team meetings on Sundays when these players come back in here on exactly what the standard is and what's accepted here and how we play. Uh, Scoot will be one of 17 seniors that will honor this Saturday, that they'll play their last game here in Fayetteville. Um, and uh, I know it'll be a very emotional day for those seniors. And... So, as uh, we move into to Western Kentucky, um, and a team that's that's uh, five and four, uh, obviously we we're, have followed Ty's story. Uh, we're excited for Ty. Uh, Ty has had a, a really good year and is playing really well. Um, we're proud for him. He's tough. He's gritty, and um, they're top 25 in time of possession. So they do a great job of controlling the ball defensively. They give up less than 20 points a game. Uh, they're very sound in what they do defensively. They return three starters. They got the uh, uh, D'Angelo Malone is uh, ninth in the country in sacks. And so we're going to have to play well. And we got to play to our standard. And that's, uh, that's the challenge right now. And uh, that we've challenged these guys and this staff uh, moving forward. So with that, I'll, I'll, I'll open up for questions. Um, Chad, I mean, what, what all went into the decision to start John Stevens, and, and how do you think he'll play? How ready do you think he is for the opportunity? Well, I think when you look at his, his prior performance when he stepped on the field the last uh, two weeks, um, I, you know, the moment has not been too big for him. I think he did a great job coming out and, and um, you know, playing with, with grit and toughness and, and just providing a, a lift. And I think he'll play really well. I've, I've, again, I've watched him and – uh, from high school all the way into where he is now and, and just his development. Uh, the situation with Ty Story, how, how did that go? Was that a mutual decision? Did he decide to step away? Did y'all move on? And um, what, does there any kind of advantage it gives you or, or him in playing him? Well, I'm sure Ty is excited about coming back into his home state and playing. And, um, you know, Ty and I met um, and with, his, with his family and – uh, we did not want Ty to leave, and uh, but Ty wanted to go to a place that that you know he wanted to 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 go in and and have an opportunity to to be the starter and and um, and was going to look around and see what was best for him moving forward. And he wants to coach, and we've had a you know a lot of top you know talks on that, and uh, we're just excited for Ty, and he is he's playing really well. Knowing him. I, you know, I mean, at this stage right now where we're at, it's, it's, it's about us. It's about, you know, um, you know getting in there and, and, um, and, and playing to our standard. Chad, I guess, did you meet with, with O'Grady yesterday and just kind of what's the 
What's the situation there? Yeah, we met, um, as, I, as I shared, we met Sunday evening. Uh, we both mutually agreed that, you know, what's best for CJ and what's best for this football program is for him to step away uh, for the final three games and, and um, you know, to help him perform and, and prepare for what's next in his life. And, and we're here to help him with that. Yeah, with the way quarterback is gone, how disappointed have you been with where things are now with way uh, Ben and, and Nick have played and, and now having to go with John Steven and KJ? Well, I'm excited about John Steven and KJ. Um, I, I think that those guys, um, I think you felt the, the lift on the sidelines. I know I did um, when they, they went in. And, um, you know, I, I'm, again, with, with uh, Ben and, and with Nick, they're two fine young men that, that love the game of football. And, um, a lot of a lot of factors that have came into play that uh, it wasn't wasn't just solely just those two guys or one guy and, and I mean it's uh, uh, it just didn't it didn't work out uh, we couldn't get the consistency that we needed but uh, um, they were back in here yesterday and uh, eager to help these young guys continue to grow and mature and, and if their opportunity arises they're going to be prepared to step in there if if it comes to that. Mentioned KJ, do you have like a set plan when you want to put him in or just kind of go by feel? Well, you know, I, I don't, that I don't know. Um, you know, it'll be, it, it'll probably be a, we'll probably have a plan in place for that from whenever we get, get a chance to get him in there. But it'll be soon. Give him a chance to get, get uh, some valuable reps and experience. You mentioned Western's time of possession. What is it that they do that allows them to keep the ball? Why are they a good offense? Yeah, you know, what they do, they, they, you know, Ty does a really good job of um, getting the ball underneath to receivers um, and, you know, passes out in the flats. Uh, they do a good job mixing up the runs and the pass. But uh, he gets the ball out of his hand, you know, a lot of bubble screens and, and quick throws, and, um, and they keep the, keep the chains moving. I had a couple of personality. Um, like, how, what's he up there on, on Davion Warren and, and Grant Morgan with their injuries? And, and it, Trey looked like he really did a good job, or Traylon looked like he really did a good job on a kickoff returns. Even if Davion's back, would you think about keeping Traylon on a kickoff return? We would, yes. Uh, Davion will be out uh, this week. Um, we hope to get him back after our open week, but we'll see on that. Um, and Grant Morgan, uh, he was back at practice last night. I guess Ladarius Bishop started for McClellan, but then McClellan came in, I think, in the second half. Was that a disciplinary thing where he didn't start, or was that just, hey, let's give you know, Ladarius a shot? Or what, what yeah, was the deal it, with it, it, was, it was giving Ladarius a shot, giving Day Day a shot, and an opportunity to, to, to get out there and, and, and play and, and uh, create some competition there. So Austin Caps, has he been cleared? Austin Caps is, we expect him to be back. Uh, he was in a green jersey last night, so we anticipate him being back. Chad, what are you expecting from a crowd standpoint on Saturday? And does the prospect of John Steven and KJ maybe be something that energizes the crowd to get them excited about where y'all are headed? Well, I, I think so. I mean, when you when you look at it, I, I'm again as I mentioned in my opening statement, you know, the, you know, Razorback fans, and I mean, they, they love the Hogs. It's it's evident. Um, I anticipate the the crowd. I know it's eleven o'clock kick, but I anticipate the crowd to be good. Um, I know that to see these 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 two young guys uh, play and uh, with John Steven and and with the the you know all the the young guys that played last week, um, I think we were I think we played uh, 21 last week somewhere in there. With O'Grady, I mean he's obviously a talent. You know the few times we talked to him, he was always you know thoughtful, polite. He seemed like he had a lot of things going for him, but, you know, Brett had issues with him. You guys obviously had issues with him. Is it just disappointing that a guy who has that much going for him, I don't know, immature, whatever, is that you just can't get through to him? You know, how tough, frustrating is that? Well, we, we, we just, you know, first of all, uh, you know, we met last night, and, and uh, you know, we want to wish CJ the best. And we're here to, to help him get to where he wanted to get to at the next step. And so, um, you know, we want to wish him the best right now. Coach, with the way the last three games have gone and, and this last one, you'd obviously like to see the team being more competitive here the second part of the season. But what are the reasons that you could give for the fans that this thing is headed in the right direction and not kind of falling apart here at the end? Well, I, I, you're asking for what? What could you say to the fans that would? 
encourage them what's ahead. Yeah, what's ahead. I think as you look at the, uh, you know, when you, when you consider and you look at the entire season and the layout of the season, um, when, when over half your starters or right around half your starters have been freshmen, true freshmen or sophomores, um, you know, there are, there are um, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, when you play young guys, you're going to have some, some growing pains. You're going to have some, some, some tough times, and we're going through a few of those, but uh, that's no excuse in where we're at right now. But it is, um, there are guys that are playing at a very high level. I, I, I don't know. Um, and I mentioned Scooter Harris, but Traylon Burks is playing at an incredibly high level. Uh, I used him as an example in front of the team last night as well, and that's a true freshman. And so, um, you know, when, you're, when your best players are playing at a high level, um, you can point that out real quick and to, to get the other guys up. So I think that uh, with, with, you know, with the amount of, of young players that have been playing, um, you know, there's no one more disappointed and the performance of Saturday than our players and our staff. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're uh, you know, back on the field last night. And so it was, it was back to work at it. I was wondering about a couple of your other younger guys, like Brady Latham and Jalen Catalan. Do, do you have any regrets with how you maybe handled their uh, playing time, their four games? They played a couple of kneel down snaps in a couple of games, and Catalan had a, a special team snap in one of his others. Do you have any regrets with how you've handled that? You know, um, Jalen's actually going to play this week. He's got a game left. And, um, you know, so we're excited about, about Jalen. Uh, Brady Latham, I think, got some substantial reps uh, last week. Um, and, you know, obviously with the injuries and in our offensive line, we, we've kind of had to bring him along and we're trying to hold him as much as we can. Um, so that's where we're at. Yeah, I, I know uh, Hudson Henry played. It's five, I guess, I'm not sure how many true freshmen played for the first time. I was like Jefferson. Just how do you think those guys did, the guys who got in for the first time? I think we had six, six true freshmen that played that have not played in a game. Saturday, uh, I think Hudson played somewhere around 18 to 20 snaps. Did did some really good things. Um, was very excited uh, to get out there, uh, and it was good to see him. Uh, um, had a couple of passes called to him that we were trying to get the ball in his hands, and um, but um, you know he was he definitely did some some good things, and obviously he'll play this week as well. Chad, you mentioned the excitement in the air when uh, KJ came in. I think John Steven, too. What about the team? What have you sensed? What do you, what's the feedback you get from the players about what those guys can offer you, and why were they successful on offense? Well, you know, uh, I, I think that um, when, 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 you, uh, when you add the quarterback run game to the dimension of an offense, um, to our offense and what we've been, it's a, um, it, it, it adds a new dimension. It adds a new gap. As we, you know, quarterbacks create the extra, with being a runner, they create an extra gap. Um, and so I think that's some of the reasons why we had some success with it. And I think the, the um, you know, when the ability of, of these guys understanding they want the ball in their hands. Um, I thought from a team standpoint, uh, even from, you know, last night, the guys were back in here. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier, they were disappointed. Uh, as we all were, um, but um, you know it was there was when we got out on the field yesterday or last night there were there was you know guys were were bouncing around and ready to improve and get better and and you know knowing you know with John Steven and KJ I think they're 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 excited to to watch these these young men and 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 help them out. So you had announced it like before y'all went to practice yesterday. They got the, yeah they got all the reps yesterday in practice. You know Tyson Helton at all the Western coach. You know, I think I've met Coach a few times. Um, you know, he's been very well respected. Every every encounter that I've had with him, and uh, people that I know that know of him, and uh, but uh, as far as just a, a mutual friend, um, you know, I, I don't know him that well. Uh, do you consider this like a must win for you? I mean, how do you how would you characterize what Saturday is? Well, I think so. I think each game is a must win, and I think it has been a must win. And you know, we're going to to, to you know for every game going into being a, uh, you know, we, we always go into every game with a must-win attitude. And you know, this is no different. Our, our approach this week is to go in and, and put a plan together that our players can execute and in front of our crowd and senior day 
and, and perform at, at, at our standard, which is best. Seniors, those guys have obviously been through a lot of coaching change, a lot of tough games. Just kind of what, what, what's your thoughts on the senior class? Well, I think that they're, they're very um, gritty. I think that they've been tough. They've had a lot to overcome. Um, a lot of change has happened in their, in their tenure here. Um, and as, as I mentioned earlier, when you can set examples and, and show seniors that have gone through all the trials and hardships um, and, and the struggles through the course of a season and to play at the level that uh, Scooter Harris and you see Sosa uh, that play at are, are very, um, you know, it's inspiring to see because these guys, um, they have a genuine love for, for this university and they want, they want to leave their legacy. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.